go. Oh, goodness. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. Hi, I'm What's Good, and I'm exhausted right now. Mm. I had a ridiculous workout today. Oh, gosh. Like, kicked the living crap out of my body workout. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> It was good, though. It was good. I haven't been able to go to the gym for the last two weeks or so. And I'll tell you this all um, as I start doing a little process here. Uh, FYI, we are doing a strength build right now in the game. Oh, there we go. Let me just move this mouse out here. There we go. Uh, we're doing a strength build. And I am not very good at strength builds, actually. I'm horrible at it. So... I'm going to fix that. We lost a lot of souls recently. Um, but I forgot that there was a weapon that I could get. So before I tell you about the day and everything like that, I'll explain to you what's happening here. So first things first, I was going to go down to the catacombs, which if you don't know anything about Dark Souls, is that way. Uh, straight ahead. And uh, it's a very, very difficult area, especially for us right now. It's a super hard area, and I was going to make a run for this weapon called Lucerne, actually, which was going to be a really good weapon for us. However, one of my wonderful buddies actually reminded me that there was another weapon that we were going to be able to use, which is the Drake Sword. And I completely forgot about that weapon because I have not used that weapon in... Wow... So many playthroughs, actually. So, we are going to go and get the Drake Sword, actually. Now, to get the Drake Sword, it's going to take us a bunch of crap. Hold on one second. I want to see if my souls are still there. I don't know which souls those are. <laughs> I don't know if those are zero souls or if there's a couple of souls there. However, I just want to see what they are. Um, to get the Drake Sword, we have to cut off the tail of a very large drake in this game and if you don't know what a drake is a drake is a kind of like a dragon like a it's it, it, it is a dragon it's not a dragon you know to be honest with you like i don't really have an exact answer as to what a drake is right now Let's see 200 souls that no no we got nothing back <laughs> all right we lost a lot of souls nothing major major like nothing game breaking but definitely it's gonna hurt us a little bit hey no no, no thank you um so in order to get the Drake Sword, we have to cut the tail off of this one Drake in this game. And there is a little exploit to doing that. And so first things first, I have to remember how many arrows I have. So I have uh, bolts. Where can I get arrows in this game? I think I can get them from Andre. But the problem is, do I have, do I have a weapon for that? And can I even use it? So what we're looking for here is not a crossbow but wow we don't even have one oh gosh i need a bow hmm i need a bow to cut this tail off right now or i can just stop being a baby and i can just go and <laughs> learn how to use this weapon i just don't want to you know i don't want to but all that being said and done we are playing this character actually for a buddy of ours, one of the viewers named Church. He's a great guy actually, a wonderful viewer, and he'll be in later on tonight. And we're doing this playthrough actually because he's never really seen Dark Souls, so I decided I wanted to show him Dark Souls. So that's what we're going to do now actually. So first things first, we need to start fixing some things. We do not have the right, the right build right now for this character. And so we need to go and fix some things. First things first, we need to go get the best shield in the game. I think that would be the number one thing to do right now. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> um, I think that would be the number one thing we need to do right now is we need to go get the best shield in the game. And the reason why it's the best shield in the game is because it... There we go. Is because it... Um, Oh, y'all, y'all needs to chill. Y'all, can you chill? Can you chill? Could you chill? I'm just so, I'm tired. There we go. We're okay. All right, daddy's home. Daddy's home. Um, what's it called? Uh, and the reason why we get the, we want to get this shield is because this shield allows us to regain stamina 
at a faster rate than we are right now. And stamina is that green bar that's right underneath our health right there. And we're about to heal back up. There we go. And the reason why we want to go get that is because it's so important for us um, in the run. In fact, it's pretty much, in my opinion, the number one shield in this game. Because of its awesome ability to just give you so much stamina to keep you going. It's fantastic. Fantastic shield. But in order to get that, we're going to have to go through the Drake. So let's put things into priority right now. The number one priority is going to be getting the shield. We need the shield before we do the Drake Sword. The shield is going to be very important. So we're going to skip. The Drake's right above us. We're going to skip him for a second. Head down this way. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, but I didn't get to finish telling you guys. So, yes, um, I had a crazy, crazy workout. Oh, 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 okay, wow. Anyone behind me? Okay. I was like, oh, no. I had a crazy workout today. I hadn't been able to go to the gym for two weeks. Ah, there we go, there we go. I hadn't been able to go to the gym for two weeks, and finally finally i was frustrated out of my mind but i finally got to go to the gym and when i got to the gym i was pretty frustrated actually there were some things that were happening in my life that were frustrating me and um let's see do i want to how do i want to make my way around this actually hmm andre's back there and in order to get to the shield we actually have to go through there okay let will just make a, a good dash yeah, and there's a bonfire over there. Okay, let's just heal up here. Excuse me. Ooh. This is actually a really fun part of the... Oh, oh, man, the tracking on that attack is ridiculous. Um, this one's going to be a little tricky. Let's pull this guy this way. Oh, wow. That backswing. That backswing. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, but yeah, I was a little frustrated, actually, on Monday when I went back to the gym for the first time in two weeks. I was really, really frustrated. There were some things happening in my life. So I got there, and I beat the living crap out of my body. Like, kicked the living crap out of it. And um, I was pretty sore and whatnot. I was pretty tired. Um, and there was this guy running next to me, actually, and he was a really good runner. So I decided I wanted to, to keep up with him, actually. So I ended up getting ahead of him by, shoot, I want to say maybe 80, 100 meters or so. And I get in front of the guy. Well, hello again. How you doing? You seem to be to need anything. No, I want to see if you have something that I want. You do have standard arrows. Okay, so then we need a longbow. Do you happen to have one? No. Wait, longsword, broadsword, battles. Ooh, the battle axe, the war pick, awesome. No, 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 no. You do not sell it. It sucks. Oh no. Who sells it then? Goodness, this is gonna bug me. I can't believe we don't have a bow. This is so weird. Okay. Um. But yeah, I decided to keep up with the guy, actually, and uh, let's see here. Mm, no, not good. I'll be seeing you there. Thank you. Um, oh boy, that guy. So this is a called the Titanite Demon. Uh, he can be a little tricky. Oh boy. Uh, especially for new players, he can be really annoying, actually. He's got a pretty good jump attack, so we want to avoid that. And I don't want to fight him right now, because we're not... Yeah, we're just not doing the damage I would want to deal with the guy. But like I was saying, so on Monday, I keep, I keep up with this guy, right? And we're working out, and I'm just... It, the place I work out with, it's kind of like a competition. Um, you're competing against a lot of other people in there. It's not CrossFit. It's kind of like it, though. Um, let's head this way. And down this way. And so I'm keeping up with this guy. I'm, about, I'm ahead of him by about 100 meters or so. So I beat him at the end. So once we get done with our sets, you know, we finish up our runs. Uh, we must have run like three or four miles. Something along. Like, I'm going to say, I've, I don't think I've ever hit four miles in that place. But I definitely hit three that day. Um, but I finished up against the guy. And I hit about three miles. I'm ahead of him by like about 100 meters. 
And, uh, uh, no, no, no. There we go. Oh, that's not bad. Um, and we get to the workout, and after that, we get onto the rowers, and man, the rowers just kick the crap out of us, and we're just exhausted and tired. Um, but I end up holding my own. I hold my own in the rowers, and I do fine. Um, move that all the way up to today. <laughs> Thursday, right? And leather gloves. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, we got a longbow. Okay, perfect. Move that up to today. I see the same guy again at the gym, right? And I'm, I tell him, I'm like, all right, let's, let's, let's do it again. You know, like he's good competition. And he, he makes me work harder. The guy today is like a freaking battery. Like the man does not slow down. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> All right, I want to do a plunging attack on this guy, but at the same time, I don't want to. So I'm just going to back up. Ow, that hurt a little bit. All right, come on. Ow. Can you stop being a jerk. Let me get behind you. Right up to Gooch. <clears throat> the guy was like a battery today. He just couldn't slow down. Like, for nothing, no matter how fast we were running, the man just would not slow down. And, like, it didn't even seem like he was getting tired. And I was like, good gosh. Like, no matter what I did, no matter how far we ran, and, and we were running pretty dang far, too. Like, a lot of the run. I mean, a lot of distance. The guy just wouldn't ease up. And so, of course, me being competitive like I am, <laughs> I keep up with the guy. And I end up just exhausting myself on the run. Just utterly exhausting myself. To the point when I get off of the run, my calves feel torn. Like if I just went way too hard. Wait, where? Where? There we go. And I was like, oh no, how am I going to do this? Because we have a segment after that, which is the weight room. And oh my gosh, I was like, how am I going to get through the weight room right now? Goodbye. <gasps> oh, we got the halberd. <gasps> oh, that's actually a really good weapon. Oh my gosh, it scales super well. Okay, I know what we're building now for endgame. And there's the shield. All right, man, things are go looking up for us. What's up? That's awesome. And then let's go in here really quickly just to light this bonfire. A little extra bonfire. Um. But we get to the weight room, and I am exhausted. Oh, my gosh. And so I'm finishing up my workout in the weight room, and the coach comes over, and she hands me some weight. And what she means when she does that is you're, do you're using too light of weight. And I was just like, oh, gosh. Like, I don't want to tell her I'm exhausted because that's like an excuse, right? You know, like, I can push myself. I just i am tired. So I kind of don't want to. <laughs> um, so I just tell her, like, all right, coach, whatever. So I grab the weight. I keep going. He's got to be about two or three sets ahead of me at this point. But I'm like, whatever, man. Like, I'm just going to do it at my own pace right now. And I get through the whole thing, and I get out of the, of the class, and I try to walk. And my calves are just screaming. Apparently. What I forgot was that while we were working out, we had moved up inclines on our treadmills. And holy crap, did I tear my calves. Jeez. I got home, and I was like, I don't even want to think about moving right now. But as soon as I got home, I remembered I had to go to a Christmas party. What's up, church? Oh, I'm glad you're here, buddy. Playing your character right now, actually. I'm fixing some things. I just got a really good shield that we needed. Um, I remember that I had to go to a Christmas party, actually. So I went to the shower, got in there real quick, got out, made a really quick white elephant gift, took off to the Christmas party, and now I'm here. <laughs> but needless to say, I fell on my bed, and I just wanted to lay there forever <laughs> but I couldn't 
Gosh. And so now we're here, exhausted and tired, but we're gonna... We're gonna go the extra mile. <laughs> Can I use this thing? I wonder. How's it going, buddy? How you doing, by the way, church? How you doing tonight, man? Let's see. Uh huh. Okay. I hmm. I think I can dual wield this. Coolio, doing good. Awesome, buddy. Well, you need We're gonna do a little bit of like cheating here, church. A little, tiny little bit of cheating here. We're gonna grab some standard or light. Just standard arrows, right? Because we don't need large arrows. Standard's fine. I think we could do it with standard. How many? We have 3,000 souls. I have 50 of these large arrows, and they're only a bit more, so there we go. Let's just... Um... That should be more than enough arrows to do this. Don't get yourself get Okay. So we're going to do something here, church. It's going to be awesome. All right? Because like I told you earlier, we are in a bit of a rut because I don't like the weapon that we're using. I just don't like the way it moves. So we're getting another, we're going to get another weapon right now. And in order to do that, we have to cut the tail off of that big red dragon from earlier in the game. And in order to cut the tail off without getting murdered, we're going to do kind of like a little, like a little skip right now and cut the tail off with these arrows. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh yeah, but you know what? I was going to run... Devil May Cry today. I was going to run Devil May Cry 3 because I was so exhausted that I was like, I don't want to do any game that's thinky right now. I just want to play something dumb. <laughs> and so I load up Devil May Cry 3. I wanted to see what it was going to look like before the stream, make sure it ran well with everything. Um, and holy crap, Devil May Cry 3 was a horrible port. <laughs> So I think my sister's getting me Diablo 3. Wait one second. Somebody's chasing me, I think. Somebody chasing me? Alright, maybe I'll just go this way. So I think my sister is getting is getting me Diablo 3 for Christmas. She texted asking if I had it yet. <laughs> what a, a neat little surprise. <laughs> oh, come on. Why can't I sit down? Come on. Okay, I can rest the bonfire now. That's awesome, dude. Oh, that's great. You know what? I might just play some DMC tonight then. Because I was I was wondering what I was going to play um, later on after I finished the, this uh, Dark Souls run. And I was just kind of like, oh, what am I going to play tonight? But that's a good idea, actually. Because um, I want to show you a little bit of what you're going to get yourself into. And here, to the dragon shop. Mm, okay. okay, I have an idea. I have a good idea. Do, 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 do. And also, you know, I should do it right now. You know what? That's like, I've been playing lots of Rocket. I've been loving my new cars I've gotten. Oh, that's right. The new cars with the, uh, the expansion. Or not the expansion, but the update for winter. That's so cool, man. Okay. I, I need to make sure that I don't get in trouble for this. Let me just look up some laws really quickly. Reading a book on Twitch. So I'm not going to read a book per se, but I wanted to read something from a book and I just want to make sure I can do that without getting like sued. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you can. I think you can do that. Yeah. There's apparently like a website or not a website um, that you can read. I think you can read books here. Hmm. Uh, you have the rights to broadcast when you don't get hit by a DMCA. Jeez. Okay, maybe. Can you not read? Can you read a book on stream, Church? Do you know that? I don't know. Hmm. Jeez, this is bugging me because I want to do. I want to read something really quickly. 
Uh, can I play Pictionary? Can I rebroadcast Bob Ross? Mm, can I do a talk show? Oh no. Dude, this is interesting. I don't want to get in trouble for doing this. That's why. Coloring books? No. Content that would violate unauthorized performances. Homework, assembling furniture, uh, playing puzzles, unboxing, toy assembly, tarot card readings, Pictionary. It does not say specifically that I can't read from book. Does not say here. Okay. So, because of FAQ, I'm going to do something here. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. So, church, listen up for a second, because this is fun. I, did, I think I'm going to start doing this a little bit more on stream, actually, because I was doing this the other night, and it was actually really fun. Let's start from the beginning, actually. This will be fun. Okay. It's from a really good book, actually. I love this book. And I wanted to do it, with, actually, with some more viewers, too. So it's going to be fun. Um, think you might like this. Ready? Okay, listen up. It isn't every day that you have the time to take a leisurely stroll around the neighborhood. A stroll without purpose or destination, a chance to stretch the legs, church. Let the mind wander. Get reacquainted with some old, familiar sights on your way... Perhaps you'd stop in a, at a coffee shop, explore the paths of a favorite park, or take the opportunity to do some window shopping. Then there are those days when it's enough just to let your feet decide your course. Now, try this, okay? Picture yourself on a stroll through town. The day's beautiful. You're half lost in a daydream. You turn onto a street that you've never been down before. And as you walk past a beautiful house set somewhat back from the street... Pausing a moment to admire the home, you notice the door is half open. Church, why is the door ajar? Is it, number one, the house is being burglarized? Number two, the owner forgot to close it? Or number three, the owner is inside sweeping out the entranceway? Go with your first answer. And if you need me to repeat them, I can totally do that. Mm hmm. Number three. Okay. You ready for this? Oh, there's a dragon. Perfect. <laughs> we'll deal with him right now. Doors have a twofold significance. They may be passageways, but they can be barriers as well. In particular... The front door of a house represents the first line of defense. All that stands between its inhabitants and the uncertainties of the world outside. By imagining an open door that should normally be closed, you envision a scenario of vulnerability and exposure. On a subconscious level, the reason you imagined for the door being open is linked to the ways you leave yourself open and expose your own weaknesses to others. All right, you ready for this? We chose number three. The owner is inside sweeping out the entranceway. You may appear to be laid back, but you never let your guard down. Achieving that constant state of relaxed alertness is what has made you into the mature individual you are. Of course, you still have your human weaknesses. You just don't put them on display for the world to see. Ooh, is that true, church? How does that resonate with you? That's interesting. Ooh, truth! Oh! <laughs> interesting! Wow! Huh, what do you know? That's interesting, bud. Let's see here. There you go. That is really interesting. Wow. <laughs> this is an old book that I've had for a while, man. And let's see, we're just gonna aim for this, right? There we go, perfect. Hey, no, go back. Put the tail back, buddy. 
Thank you. This is an old book that I've had, dude, and I always bust it out at parties. Don't you... I'm going... Okay, it's right there. This is going to take us a while. I'm actually very reserved in new experiences and takes a lot of time for me to get comfortable. I can understand that, yeah. Um... Which one do I, let's see which one do I normally go with yeah I think I I normally do the same thing actually yeah the exact same one buddy maybe if I aim lower on the tail well, no I'm already aiming really low So this is going to stop missing. I know, I know. I don't use these things. Okay, so I get two of them. This is going to take us just a tiny little bit. However, this weapon is flipping good. We just have to bide our time as we slowly cut this tail off. My goodness. Jeopardy theme. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I get you, man. I feel the same way. Like, I, I put on this facade of being, you know, super open and stuff like that. But really, it is, it's a facade. You know, like, I'm very careful about who I let into my life and who I open myself up to, actually. Which is strange, because I was just having that discussion with a friend of mine last night. We were talking about vulnerability and how we were vulnerable with each other and whatnot. And so, it's interesting, man. That That's cool. Let's see here. What is the other answers while we're doing this? Are you kidding me? There we go. The... Oh. You, uh, the owner forgot to close the door. You aren't the type to get carried away in crisis situation. Mm, you're so relaxed that you may not notice a crisis, though. Mm -hmm. The mistakes that you make are caused more by oversight than bad intentions. I can't even do the facade when hanging out with new people. A lot of times, they think I'm upset, but really, I'm taking I'm taking back and observing. Yeah, I do the same thing sometimes now too. The exact same thing. That's funny. That's a very funny. I do the same thing now. I kind of sit back and I try to understand the dynamics of uh, of the group that I'm in or the people that I'm around. I do the same thing, but that's interesting, man. Wow, a little bit more similar than we thought. <laughs> so, uh, I the Steam sale is going on right now, and um, everybody's kind of like out there buying games and stuff. However, I found a ton of these kind of books um, on Amazon, and I was like, you know, this would be fun to just hang out in the stream with, actually, uh, just to kind of understand people a little bit more, and uh, for them to understand themselves too, right? Trying to see what people think of themselves and what they like and what they don't like. I remember one time I did this and um, somebody started to cry. Like legitimately started to cry. Because one of them was about fathers. And they didn't th they didn't know it was about that. Um, they thought it was just going to be, I don't know. Something related to, you know, who knows what. And, uh, you know, whatever, right? Uh, and then it became about their father. And they kind of freaked out where they were just like that's all true and, and they started to cry 
And um, but the I think the the crazy thing about it is it just even even though they these questions or these answers might not necessarily be true, they cause us to be introspective and to think about who we are as people. And I think that's really cool, right? Where sometimes we don't even think about how we act or who we are. And um, kind of interesting. Just interesting to think about how we how we live and the roles we play actually in society. But yeah, I don't know. Deep stuff, right? Super deep. <laughs> Hmm, that's darn tail. Deep! <laughs> oh, man. So what are you doing for uh, for Christmas, hermano? Going to her house? Or her family? Hmm. Go, come on now. This tail's got to go. Come on, tail. I don't know how much damage I've done. Stay till Christmas Eve. Dang. Brother, as in how old? Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, he should have some fun over there in Austin. That will be nice for him. Or are you just going to stare at <laughs> Just going to stare at him for, uh, to observe him <laughs> while he's there? I wonder if I'm going to kill this guy before I even get off the tail. <laughs> we like a lot of the same science stuff. He's also studying astrophysics, and I have an interest in it. Huh, that's interesting. So I guess he's, I mean, that would relate to what, like NASA, per se? Like, astrophysics is physics relating to space. I, at least I would think so. I've never exactly known astro what astrophysics means. I think Leonard from the Big Bang Theory does it, right? <laughs> or not Leonard, it's Howard. Howard's the one in the astrophysics. My dad loves that show too. Good gosh, this tail today. Oh, let's see. Leonard Howard. But yeah, space uh, space physics. What's his name again exactly? Poutrapoli. What's his name again? I don't remember. Howard Leonard Sheldon and Raj. Oh man, <laughs> I miss that show, dude. I really need to watch it again. I never finished it. I think my dad's seen everything, like pretty much every single episode. 
which is strange. I don't. I didn't. I didn't take my father for a big fan of the Big Bang Theory, but he just liked it. And oftentimes, more than not, compares me to the characters. I think the man sees me as Leonard, actually, which is hilarious, because I'm not interested in science at all. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm interested in it, right? Like, science is actually really interesting. However, you know, I'm not adept at science. It doesn't come to me. Leonard is a general physicist. Howard is a physical engineer, and Sheldon is a theoretical physicist. <laughs> oh, Sheldon. What does it take to cut this freaking tail off? Man, I can't have missed that many. If anything, I've missed like 10. I'd say like a safe 20 I've missed. If I didn't like engineering. Hmm. So, so physics and engineering. Okay, I'm trying to think about this without sounding like a moron. <laughs> so, if one would, were to work in physics, they would be focused on, on what per se? Like, what kind of job are you getting as a, with physics? Really? <laughs> Mostly a teacher. Oh gosh, I cannot believe I just ate this whole bag of Kit Kats. Shame on me. And if you're really, really good, then a job at an observatory or NASA. Hmm. And and physics entails what per se? Like engineering is making things work. I would to to put it very in a layman's term, right? It's making things work. But physics has to do with just the laws of primarily with the laws of gravity, wouldn't it be? study of energy okay did they take this out of the game come on now like over a hundred arrows study of energy interesting And so, wait a minute, so you got your degree in engineering, Church? Electrical engineering. Hmm. I th man, I think they took this sucker out of the game. Darn it. Are you kidding me? Oh boy.
Oh, man. Okay. Crap. How the freaking heck am I going to do this now? Hmm. I think I have a crossbow. Well, that's something. Oh, I can't aim with this thing. Oh, shoot. Okay. I could try to cut the tail when he comes down from his perch and he gets all pissy. I could try. I mean, I guess it's worth a shot. So, okay, so that's going to be a horizontal. I mean, a horizontal, and we want the vertical. Okay. This is going to be tricky. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, but it's going to be worth a shot. We got the health for it, too. Okay, he's pissed. Okay. Take some damage there. Hmm, darn it. I think they took that exploit out of the game. Hmm. So if I can't get the Drake Sword, what's the next best weapon then that I can do? Darn. Hmm. Alright, Drake is gone, so let's just go ahead and get our souls. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Hmm. Well, that was douchey. Hmm. Okay. We got Havel's ring. We got the Grass Crest Shield. We have a, I mean, I guess a decent weapon here with the Claymore. I like most sciences except chemistry. I never got a grasp of that voodoo. <laughs> yeah, chemistry always gave me a lot of problems, dude. And that was the one class in like high school and in college that I was I always dreaded. Especially when they started getting into like formulas of like, oh, you know, this amount of electricity and this amount of newtons and all this stuff. That kicked the crap out of me. I was never good at that. Okay, let's get rid of that. So what I want to do now is let's look at the weapon that we're going to be using later on in the game. I have the Zweihander. When did I get the Zweihander? When did I get this? Okay. Longsword. Where's my Black Knight... Greats. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna need 18 in dex and 32 in strength. Okay, wisdom would say to do strength first. Okay, do I have. Do, 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 do I have souls? I barely enough to get one level, but let's go ahead and do that now. Guess we gotta. They say it has math, but that voodoo isn't math. It's magic. <laughs> it's math. The physics is math driven. Good old calculus. See, I suck at calculus. Oh man, I am English through and through. That's my life. <laughs> That's what I do. Hmm. Okay. Okay, hold on. Gotta remember this. We've rang the first bell. So that means we need to go ring the second bell. That means that we need to head back to the depths. Okay? Head back to the depths. I think there might be some weapons down there that we can use that are strength-based. Mother... There you go. Um, back to the jail. <laughs> back to the pit. No! I don't... I... Right now, I, no kidding, do not have the strength nor the mental stab stability to get through that. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna go to the depths. And, um, the depths, the depths, the depths. We're back where I was. Mother, father, mother, father. There we go. But yo, you do dark do for you do for Dark Souls, got it. Hey man, this game is like to a degree it's second nature to me. <laughs> Cause I've played it so much. The only thing that's making it difficult is playing the stupid character. <laughs> no offense. Again, I'm just not used to strength builds. <laughs> but I promise I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out for you, buddy. Let's see here. I know what's happening. Where is he? Where is he? Really? Ow. I guess he's not coming this time. Okay, whatever. Um. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Here's the stairwell down here. And thankfully, I get to just kind of rush through this to a degree. To a degree! Because I don't have to get stuck in that one little area to try to fight Capra right now. <laughs> that's already done. It's done. It's been dealt with. Alright, just gotta kill these puppies again, though. Speaking of, I kinda wanna surprise my mom with a dog. However, mom is not a dog person. <laughs> Can I get away with this? I really... This is going to be terrifying. I still want to do it, though. Oh, gosh. Oh, the dog over here. Let's go. Okay. Well, I actually got through that. What do you know? However, she just is not a dog guy, a person. She's not that big of a fan of the pups. It's not that. She just likes to have a really clean house. Like, she's just... She likes to have a very clean home. There we go. And my friend has got these puppies. Like, she, they just had puppies. And... They're trying to find homes for all the dogs, and I found a super cute one. Uh, but the thing is, I just don't know. I don't know if I have the the time, or not the time, but that's my, that was my best friend's mom growing up. <laughs> I don't know if I have. I don't know what it is. I I I think I have the time, but I don't know if my schedule will allow me to have a dog but then again like I'm trying to map out how I would take care of one right like in the morning somebody's got to be with him somebody's got to walk him and take him outside and all that crap right I hated going to his house not that I live like slobs but it was ridiculously strict house <laughs> rules okay yeah that's a different story altogether okay where is this oh there's one let this guy. I'm gonna take it slow and steady here, cause I am not getting stabbed in the back again. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. But I just don't know. Like, so I, I'm trying to th figure out how one would take care of a dog, right? Like, I don't go to work until twelve, uh, until one thirty. So I can be with the dog in the morning. And then my mom... My mom, what's it called? Um, she, what's it called? She doesn't work on Monday and Tuesday. And so Monday, I come home. I go to I go to the gym for an hour and then I stream, right? At night. So the dog can be with me at night, right? I just have to go and tire him out, you know, before the stream. You know, take him for a walk and stuff like that. And I guess he could, you know, chill on the bed or something like that, right? Um, but then... Stupid. Is there another one there? There's another one there. Come on. Come on, you stupid animal. Oh. 
But then the question then becomes, oh, mother, oh, gosh, that dumb dog. Oh my gosh, that freaking dog. Oh, that stupid puppy pisses me off. Oh gosh, whatever. Um, so like, what do I do with the dog on those moments where I have to be at work? And mom's not at home. Like, the dog's going to be alone. Like, if mom goes to work at 3, the dog's going to be alone for, like, I don't know. I'd say roughly from, like, 3 to 9 or 10, the dog's going to be alone for, like, 8 hours or something like that. Like, how do people do that with dogs? Like, they live... People live busy lives. Like, how... Do, what, is, what does the dog do for those moments? That's always been my question, right? Like, what do you do with the dog in those moments? Are you freaking kidding me? Two to the neck? You stupid piece of crap. I swear... The rest of the bonfire. Okay, he's gotta be coming this time. Should see him in the distance. Yep, yeah, there it is, there it is. Oh boy. That's okay. So I'm already really far away. Bam. I crate my dogs. Come home during lunch, let them out for 30 minutes, then back to work. They crate, they're crated for maybe four and a half hours recess, then three hours till I'm th for four hours, 30 minute recess, then three hours till I'm off. Okay. Huh. All right, maybe. And like, and the dogs are okay, church. Like, the, the, I mean, I know it sounds stupid. He's like, no, 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 they're they're miserable. <laughs> the the pups are miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Would you freaking shut the heck up? Oh my gosh, oh, I hate this thing, it hits so freaking slow, oh my gosh, I am so tempted to just redo the build, just redo the build, <laughs> become a dex character, they're cool with it, they don't fight going into the crate, they usually go in on their own vol volition, at the same time every day. Huh, okay. And I, I mean, I, I guess and that's only like one day too, right? Like for me. Like, because that's only on Wednesday. Because Monday, they're with mom all day. Tuesday, they're with mom all day. Wednesday is the day that they're going to be in the crate for a little while longer. Thursday, they're with mom till like... Three. They're with mom till like three, and then after that, they. I go to the, I go to the gym. They're in the crate till like six, seven. I get home at seven. Oh oh oh! Oh my gosh! Oh crap! 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 Crap! Go go go! Oh! Well, I think I'm getting a mutt, so I don't know if it's a high, ener high energy dog or not. Oh my! F oh gosh, dang those dogs, dude! Oh my gosh, they piss me off so much. Stupid freaking dogs! Oh my gosh, son of a! Oh, jeez, man. Oh, those stupid dogs.
Not not those dogs. Like these dogs. What is disconnecting? My controller keeps this. I swear. Is that use? Yeah, it's my USB dinging. I don't understand. I think it's my motherboard, dude. Like, it does this all the time. It just keeps disconnecting things. I have no idea why either. Like the other day, I was trying to play, getting over it, and it just kept disconnecting. The uh, the mouse. I don't know why. Hey, okay, let me go. Thank you. I do have kind of like an old USB, or not an old USB, but an old uh, motherboard. So I think, and I think that's what it is, right? Like motherboards are the things that your USBs connect to. Because it can't be my mouse and my, what's it called, and my Xbox controller, you know, and everything else that I have connected to it. Like that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. So logically it would have to be the motherboard. Or the port array. What's a port array, if you don't mind me asking? that is dude. <laughs> as you can understand church I'm learning about like the PC world slowly <laughs> oh, stupid dog. That's really strong. There was another dog. The ones from the Capra Demon. The series of USB connections all together make a single array. They go to a single connection on the motherboard. Oh, okay. And and that itself could be damaged. Hmm. How would I fix that specifically on a motherboard though? That's can't necessarily like fix that part right can you I would have to get a whole new motherboard consider me very unlearned unlearned in the PC world are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh, I hate this run. Oh, oh I hate this run. Just get a new USB array and plug it into the motherboard. Oh, oh, I hate this run so bad. So bad. How much do I need for the Uji Katana? <laughs> All right, that's what we're gonna go do. Where is it at? Where am I at right now? I'm here. Right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go get. The I'm tired of this crap. I I'll figure out a way to use the Uji Katana.
I'm gonna have to dual wield this. Screw this crap. I hate strength weapons. This is pissing me the crap off. Oh gosh, they're so slow and they're annoying and just forget it. If it's the motherboard, yes, new motherboard. Obviously, the array is less expensive. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're getting the Uji. Forget this crap. I'm just, I'm up to here with these stupid weapons. I, I don't get it. And like, every, like, my buddies are telling me too, they're like, why is it so hard for you? And I'm like, I never play strength. Like, ugh, gosh, I do not like playing strength builds. Because it, you just have to be, like, timing is so weird with these stupid things. We're gonna go get the Uji. Go. Okay. Okay. Up. Don't be too frustrated that you don't heal. Oh my gosh, that guy's still hitting me. Where's this guy at? He's right over here. I'm sorry, buddy. You've gone mad, have you? I hate I'll this freaking you. weapon. Why me? Give me the weapon. You, Leah. Thank you. All right. Oh gosh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh gosh, I am sick and tired of this stupid thing. Where's it? Okay, can I use it? Do I dual wield? Yes, I can. Oh my gosh, yes. Where the freaking heck? Come on, come here. Come here, I want to test something out on you. Oh my, that bad? Oh, gosh, dang this stupid thing. Where's the mace? The battle, okay, wait, what am I at? I'm a 95 here. The claymore's doing 103. Screw this crap. Where the heck is the battle axe? We're taking this thing. How does this thing swing? Yeah, I'll guess I'll take it, whatever. Oh my gosh. Church, you remember when you told me to make this character? You were like, oh, I want somebody that, you know, plays and does all this, you know, the stuff you said. Oh, my gosh. I regret ever saying, yeah, let's do a strength build. I regret it instantaneously. Had I known... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I want to shoot the world right now. Oh, but I have to finish this. I have to finish. I started it. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to freaking finish this dumb gosh dang. Let's go. Ah, uh, we can play it. We can play it tonight. Tonight, come on, it'll be fun. It's nine bucks. We can see what we get, you know. It'll be fun. I'll get it if you get it. It'll be fun. It'll be a blast. And I don't have to aim too much with shotguns. <laughs> Not too much. Cause yeah, I'm 100% aware that that game is nine dollars right now. And in reality, I'm not like it's not like I want to go and play the living crap out of this game. So it's like I don't mind getting the starter version. Fine. I prop Justin will get it if we get it. Oh, do me a favor, actually check Killing Floor two. Dude, it'd be awesome to play Killing Floor 2 with you. I think you might like it a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh. Why? 
do people play these builds? Killing Floor 2, freaking awesome game. 100% worth it, dude. I promise. That game is awesome. Oh my gosh. Why do people... Oh no. Okay. Can I use the spear? No. Can I use the halberd? No. No, I can't use freaking anything. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Can I use the longsword? Okay, I can use the longsword. I can use battle axes, of course. Oh gosh, okay. Come on, come on, Daniel. Figure this out, figure this out, figure this out. That's one of my girls' favorite games. The first one that is. The first one was awesome. That's how I got influenced to, in, or I got introduced to Killing Floor and I loved it. Uh, the second one's really, really fun. Still super fun. We were playing it actually this week. We had a blast doing it. Uh, Daniel, come on, come on. This is so weird. I'm like turned on my head because I can't figure out how I should be doing this. Like, I hate the fact that I have to use this gosh thing, stupid freaking dumb claymore. I'm sick and tired of this weapon. Oh my gosh, you kidding me. Whatever. Not right now. How did it track me? Are you kidding me? What freaking... The tracking of a god. I'm here. Oh gosh. Not stun you, jeez. Seriously? Alright, moving on. Okay. Now, I mean, I do have a ton of endurance and a ton... A ton of stamina because of what's it called? All the armor that we got, so let's... Mother Are you kidding me? Come on, dude. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know this sounds stupid, but Dark Souls should not be this hard. Not this hard. <laughs> Like, think about how long I was there in that frame. You get me? Like, think about how long I was there. He just shoves his... Look at... Like, it takes 10 billion years to do that one attack. And with dex weapons, you've done four. Like, four attacks by that point. And it just, oh, it irks me. It like it irks me to no avail. And I think what upsets me the most is that everything in this area is is very quick. And so trying to get around them or defeat them or get through them. Is really difficult because they're all like they're all over the character and they can pretty much just stun lock you and so it's just it's a little frustrating to say the least but whatever we're just gonna just gonna keep going move on through I'm just gonna have to play stupidly safe being followed go downstairs 
Says he's gonna play safe, takes shield off. <laughs> I'm doing that to myself now. Alright, come on. Alright, next up. Those fire attacks really freaking hurt. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was like, are you serious? He's not dead yet? Oh, this guy right here. What a jerk. What a jerk. Okay, these dumb freaking dogs. Not the attack I wanted, but whatever. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, dang these dogs. Where's the other dog? Lynn's gone. Ha! Hey, Lynn. What's up? Tap a scan in the back. No, I can't. How's it going? You gonna lose. Aw, I miss you too. <laughs> How are you and Uzi doing? Boop. Boop. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I'm uh, completely aware of the way you joke. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, I'm glad you guys are doing well. I miss you all. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, there's the large ember. Enjoying vacation. Yes, you should. Oh, man. You guys have worked so hard, so diligently. You know, you deserve a nice break. <laughs> I come this way. Get chased? No, I don't get chased by the dogs. All right, there should be one more. Where's he at? You. Yes, you. Here. We need to rematch cards against humanity, though. Yeah. Cards against humanity was really fun. I mean, of course, I couldn't say some of the words. <laughs> Thank you. I had to have you or Uzi or somebody read them, but it would be nice to play again. Thank you. I am Luensius. I will not forget my So this is the guy that actually will teach us pyromancy if we choose to. And I to a degree want him to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and get in here and we are gonna go and fight this gigantic rat and we are gonna make our way through this gosh dang game just cause Three, just cost three, seven fifty. I'm getting it. Yo, but just cost two is two ninety nine, and I'm hearing that just cost three doesn't run super well, dude. Word on the street is it does not run pretty well on on PC actually, but just cost two runs really well. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Lynn, that's church, by the way. Oh no no no! Wait, what? He's here now. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. That's not fair. Why is he there? Okay. He's wisdom. I don't think rolling is going to get you anywhere. Well, that's kind of, it was kind of douchey. Like, I don't remember this guy being there. Oh, gosh. Because he has free will. <laughs> do a barrel. <laughs> he do what he want. That's stupid. He doesn't, he shouldn't be there, Lynn. Oh, my gosh. Stupid goop. Stupid goop. Oh, gosh. There you go. Oh, wait, what? Oh my gosh, would you please? Where are you guys coming from? Ow. Oh, goodness. The goop is offended. Stupid goop. Stan Marsh. <laughs> Some of my favorite parts, actually. Stan, uh, Stan from South Park is like, yeah, can I get a burger, please? And they're like, okay, when you get the witch. 
He's like, no, 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 I don't want a chicken sandwich, I want a burger. Okay, one chicken sandwich. Is there anything else to wonder? He's like, no, 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 you're not hearing me. I don't want a chicken sandwich. I want a burger. Okay, we take it up with this. <laughs> no, I don't want a chicken sandwich, you big stupid goop. Stan Marsh. Oh, wow. I think they added some. Okay, thank you. I'm just gonna just let me go. Hello, sir. Oh my. Oh, I forgot I had the master key. <gasps> oh, oh yes. Everything's okay. I found a bonfire. Oh gosh. Everything's gonna be alright, church. We found a bonfire. Now they attack. They they shouldn't even be there, Lynn. It's it's un it's un American of them. It's quite un American and rude and just not fine and just unkind and no, it's n no bueno. <laughs> now I've now I've rested there. Okay. There is no jeez, okay. Gosh darn it. I was hoping that I was gonna find a summon there. Oh the humanity. Oh, oh you're so punny. Ow. Ow. Okay, look up oh wait, 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 we came from there, we came from there, we don't wanna go that way. Okay. There's the giant rat. I vaguely remember there being a ladder here. Okay, there it is. Okay. And that ladder is gonna take us doesn't open from the side. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to remember. Don't fight the rat. Why can't I fight the rat? The rat's cool. The rat the rat wants to kill me. Why wouldn't I fight the it has feelings. I have feelings. Look at all these rats. That apparently have feelings. Ow. Ow. Okay. Yeah, 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 they got feelings. They got feelings, Lynn. Stupid freaking things. Oh my gosh. What horrible freaking monsters of death. You have feelings. Dumb gosh dang rats are jerks. They killed my father. Did you know that, Lynn? They killed my father. I'm trying to remember. I think there's one right here. Yes. Okay. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back. They're homeless rats. They're all, all rats are homeless. Well, no, no, no. That's not true. That's not true. Because rats are also pets. Is there anything down there? Kind of. Oh, there's the Rat Queen. And she has to watch as I decimate. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not, that's, that's, that's bullcrap, Lid. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's not true. Because you want to know why? You want to know why? Because they don't have to take action. They could take a pacifist route and be kind and considerate, but no, they decided they wanted to attack me and hurt me. So, you know, no. I I, I respectfully disagree. No, we first off, we need to come here. Because I, I need, my cat says meow. Your cat's all excited because I'm killing rats. Okay, so this is the first thing we need to do. This guy is really important to kill because if we don't kill this guy, I'm gonna pull back a little bit. Pull back just a tad. Pop a humanity, that's fine. Okay, this man needs to die. Oh. oh, yes! Oh, 
thank goodness. Why? Because he comes out... If you don't kill him now, he comes out in the fight that you have down there. And that fight is really annoying with him alive. <laughs> no, I don't want to... Darn it. And how is your cat, Lynn? How is it handling life? The college life? Large Titanite Shard. And I'm finally not poisoned anymore. Thank goodness. Okay, let's make our way over here. Okay. Yep, okay, that's fine. That guy is dead. Okay. Lazy as fuck. <laughs> Don't want to fall down there. Um fall down there you end up in a really really bad place no I will not be poisoned again you douches oh gosh hey okay. at the ground there's not a pitfall there What the freaking heck is that? Oh boy! <laughs> oh no, no, I can't fall. I I get into a really horrible place. However, it's time for the rat to die. Shiagazi. Ow! That was not that bad. Charlie has an axe. See, Lynn, is it right that we allow this thing to stay alive even though it's already, you know, it's on its last legs here? It's not. That's not kind. Oh, that hurt like crap. Okay, bait and attack. Perfect. All right. Nope. No. Nope, no. Nope. Uh, I don't think it's blind necessarily. I just wanna. Okay. Before I use those SS flasks, I don't want to because I want to pop this. All right. Let's come back over here. Once we kill the rat one time, the rat will be dead. Permanently. Nice. Pillage the body for humanity. Nice, nice, nice. Don't R O U S. What is R O U S, church? Don't R O U S. Okay, I remember how to do this. I vaguely remember how to do this. Oh boy. Mm. Oh no, I gotta do it anyway. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh no. Is this the wrong area? No, no. <gasps> oh no. Oh boy. That's that's a basilisk. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna just wait for it to to head on over. Oh I don't wanna die here. <laughs> Do a wheelie. Kind of late for that. I'm not going to die. I just... Oh, no, no. It's a rat. Okay. Where to go? Where to go? Okay. Oh, rat. Another rat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Shiakazi. No, 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 no. That, okay, so that guy, he shoots out this, like, this kind of smoke, and the smoke can instantly kill you if you stay too long in it. Instantly. And what's worse is it causes an effect called curse. And that effect um, cuts your life in half. It's... Oh, wait, wait, where is he at? Oh, there he is, okay. I just gotta 
bring him over here. Oh gosh, because he's got some really bathe in it. Okay. Really don't want to die here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even press it. It's stored a roll. Oh man. Oh, this game. So this game does this thing where it stores rolls. So what happened was I pressed B while I was on the ground. When I got up, the character immediately tried to do the action that I had stored in the controller, which it's stored in the game. It's a really irritating ability at times. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't. I don't like it when you get to store abilities, but, you know, whatever. Some people like it. So, let's see. I want to reverse my hollowing. Gosh, I wish there was a summon right now. Okay, and then the oh 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 baba. Can I can I please? Can I has? Can I has? <laughs> please. You you show ups. Please, sir. You come. You come hang. You hang with friends. Hello. Hello. Too high for you. Too high for you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Hey, come on. Put my control again. Oh, hello. Um, hello. All right, let's do this. This is gone. Did you change the color of your thingy? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and go. I need to. I don't think I can have three. I think I can only have two. And that guy is definitely much stronger than me, so it's fine. I haven't. I haven't opened the door though, bud. I haven't opened the door. No, I haven't opened the door, so we gotta go back up this way. I was like, why is your color different now? Okay, we gotta go this way. Man, he does a lot of damage. And what's worse is I think he's using the same gosh dang weapon as me. My cat just stared at the screen and rolled over. <laughs> <laughs> Silly cat. Hey guys. Okay. Let's keep it going. Keep it moving. Killed these guys, so we're good to go. Oh boy. Okay, you, you want to go this way or not? Yeah, let's just go this way. Just go this way. Just go this way. Okay. Are we going this way? You, you don't want to go this way? That's fine. You know. I'm the one asking for help. Oh, humanity. That's awesome. I love the fact that rats drop humanities. And this guy's taking a lot of damage, though. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, these horizontal swings. Okay, let's go. I, I already got it. I already got it, buddy. Yeah, okay, I'll just pretend like I'm getting an item. Ooh, this is special. Okay, good deal. <laughs> He's nice, though. He wants me to find all the items. So that's really kind of him. Okay. Do you want to go this way? Okay, we can go this way. All right, I'll just let him lead the way. I'll let him lead the way. Whatever. Okay. Do there you go? Yeah, just keep heading on that way. We're gonna go the opposite way now. I need to heal him too. I have a. You confused, buddy? You should like where the hey 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 hello. Isn't it this way? Isn't it this one? Hey, no 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 not that way. Oh, okay. Darn it. Okay. Um, I think let's go this way. And then we're going to head down. Right? 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 Now let's head on in this way. Alright, just follow my lead, buddy. Don't worry about it. I know where I'm going. Roos rodents of unusual. Oh. 
Rodents of unusual size. Clever girl. <laughs> okay, let's see. And then we're gonna wanna go this way. Oh boy, it's another slime. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that thing is dead. Where is this guy? Where'd he go? Uh oh. I think I lost him. I'm a little. Oh, darn it. Did he heal him? Oh, man. I just popped an SS last for no reason. Where did he go? Darn. Where did he go? I wonder. He's killing stuff wherever he's at. He might want to just meet me over. <laughs> Probably just going to want to meet me over there at that part, so that's fine. Rat's dead. Um, I remember there was a way to get up there from here. No, no, apparently not. Okay. So let's see. If I did it on that side, nothing. What about this side? Yes! Found it! Oh, 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 no, no, no. I forgot about those guys. <gasps> My souls! Perfect. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, stupid rodents. Oh. Humanity. Ah, darn it. Mm -hmm. Come on. These guys are actually really cool because they drop a really good item, which is uh, green titanite. And you need it for certain weapons in the game that we have to enhance. Okay. There's one here. No. Uh, okay, he's still killing crap. I just don't know where he's at. Okay, there's Kirk. I'll bring him over here. Because I don't want to fight him down there. That's not my buddy down there either. So this guy's got really cool armor that when you... Uh, oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, when he rolls into you, you take damage. Oh, there you go. Easy peasy. Let's just go ahead and heal this guy. There we go. What did he drop? Oh, he gave me humanity. Nice. And... A spiked shield. That's not bad. I don't think he normally drops that, actually. I think you have to have a certain amount of humanity for it in order to get that drop. Um, so that's the way we're supposed to go. As in, like, that's the next level. He returned home. Oh, man. Did he DC? No, bud. You can't DC now. That sucks. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Hopefully, there'll be a summon over here. Okay. This fight is freaking amazing. In fact, it's one of my favorite fights in all of Dark Souls. Like, without a doubt, this fight right here. It's just... So it's not super hard. It, it, nothing compared to Capra. Like, wow, Capra is much more difficult. However, the, the difficulty of this fight, or not the difficulty, or the... The attractiveness, right, is the monster you fight in and of itself. That's that's the crazy thing about this fight, is what, what we're going to do right now. It's freaking insane. Okay, so wait a minute. Before I do anything, I want to have a little helper. So what I'm going to do is this. I don't... So here's the deal. We have to... So that's right there. That's Solaire. 
I just want to make sure there's no there's no summon. Yeah, there's no summon here. Um, we we want to keep we have to keep Solaire alive for this fight. So what we need to do is use this thing real quick. Head back to the bomb. I left for five minutes. What happened to your buddy? He just ditched. Spectrum rolled out. 1G in net in Austin, but we don't get a discount. My discount. My discount in net did go up to 200 megabytes. That's awesome. Okay. My buddy disappeared. I think he got disconnected, Lynn. So what I'm doing now is something failed. Oh, buddy, come on. Um, he, what's it called? He got disconnected. So I'm going to try to summon him again, actually. All right. Oh, man, his internet's messing up. So I'm going to wait for just a couple of minutes here. Ooh, while we're waiting... Let's do one of these. This is going to be fun. Okay, Lynn. I got a question for you. Okay, this is going to be... This is going to be really interesting, okay? Alright, you willing to be a, a tad bit vulnerable on stream? Uh, Church, this is a new one too. I think you might like it. Okay, ready? Lounging around the house one Saturday afternoon, you are startled out of your revere by the doorbell. When you open the doorbell, or when you open the door, you're greeted by a most unusual surprise. Uh, a pair of animals has come to deliver news to you of your life in the future. But when you open their messages, you see they contain very different predictions of what lies in store for you. One of the animals has brought a letter foretelling a life of happiness and contentment. The other prophesies only disaster and despair. No, no, that's not what I want. Thank you. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Which of these animals brought glad tidings and which an omen, an omen of doom. You must pick a different animal for both. One, a tiger. Two, a dog. Three, a sheep. Four, a parrot. Five, a turtle or tortoise to be more specific. Um, so which one of those um, brought good news and which one brought bad news? If you don't remember, I can repeat them actually. So very quickly, um, oh, no, 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 what have I done? What have I done? Uh, tiger, dog, sheep, parrot, tortoise. Which brought good news? Which brought bad news? One of them has to bring good. One of them has to bring bad. The dog brought the good news, the parrot brought the bad news. Awesome, okay. So the thing is, is that you also want to go with just your first thought. Like, so don't overthink it. Go with whatever pops into your head. This is the fun thing. And then church, what what brought, uh, what brought good news and what brought bad news? And then I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you what those mean actually. This is from a really fun book that I usually bust out at parties and people begin to hate me for. <laughs> but I don't care, because it's fun. <laughs> of course, the dog brought good news and the tortoise brought the bad news. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Okay. So hold on just for a second. Let me beat this boss, actually, and then I will give you the results of those answers. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Come this way. Uh, I pres This one is a very interesting one. I remember not the answers per se, rather the severity of the results. Like they were, they were interesting results, actually. And what I mean by interesting, as in like they had, they hold some weight. So this is going to be very fun. It's going to go this way. Excuse me, sir. 
Wham, bam. You know what I just noticed? We have a freaking crap ton of souls. Stab your buddy. I can't stab my buddy. I'm un I'm literally unable to do that, Lynn. Whoop. Did he make it down? Oh no, I think he fell. Holy crap. Oh boy. I think he fell. Oh no, I wonder if I start the boss fight Will he be brought into the boss fight? Oh, no, no, no. I gotta go try to save him. Can't leave a man behind. Can't leave a man behind. What a noob. Yeah, the thing is, you gotta be on the the, the farthest left point of that, uh, of that bridge. Or else, uh... Or else you fall into a really bad place. Oh, I'm poisoned. I'm just gonna pop an essence last, that'll be good for both of us. Okay, all right, come on, buddy. Let's come over here. Good, he actually survived. Well, that's awesome for him. <laughs> that's, oh, that's awesome for me as well. All right, we're gonna head over here. So that area is gonna be the worst area in the entire game for us. I'm not gonna like being there, but, you know, whatever. We're, we gotta get through it. And then we're heading to this boss. This is the best freaking boss ever. <laughs> I wish I had something to cure my poison. Do I have anything to cure my poison? I don't have a single thing. Well, he is stronger. <laughs> All right, Solaire, what's up? Okay, just to be safe, I don't want to use this yet. Okay, I'm gonna pop a humanity real quick. Go. Bring Solaire in. <sighs> I'm gonna be poisoned for this fight. This is gonna stink. I wish I could just say one second, but I can't. I just need this poison to go away, because if not, it's going to be really dangerous to me in the fight. But whatever. Okay, let's just do it. Let's go. We're going to do this. Okay, watch this video. This is where what somebody showed me when they said, hey, I want you to see this game. It's called Dark Souls. And I was like, well, what is it about? And they said, we're just going to show you this video. And it should be more than enough to explain the game. So check this thing out. This 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 is where I was like, holy crap! Check this out, man. <laughs> this is the gaping dragon. Okay, we're gonna try to get this tail. I really want this tail to be cut. I really need this tail to be cut. Come on, dude. Stop being a douche. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, heal. No, 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 they're not close enough. Oh, I'm not healing them. Come on. Need this healed. Oh, that hurt like crap. I want to assume chewing isn't a problem. Yeah, 
Yes, we got it. We got the tail. We got the tail. That's a really good weapon, actually. Or it's a, at least it's a very fun weapon. He's going to dive down here. All right, this is cool. Oh, boy. Okay. Solaire, don't you die on me. He's tanky. I wish I had something that could do a little bit more damage right now. Oh, oh, I do, I do. Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do it, do it now, dig it. I have to keep him alive. He's got to be alive. No, 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 no. Wait, how did I get picked up? Wait, what? Kill him, SpongeBob! Kill him! <laughs> Why is the camera tilting that way, too? Oh, thank goodness, he has no tail. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, freaking demons. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was so scared. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh man. Oh, we got the standard stuff. That's awesome. Okay. Much better than this stuff. Crap. Alright. Standard helm. Hard leather armor. Hard leather gauntlets. Hard leather boots. Oh. Better. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I take off? I took off the shield? Dang it! Oh! Phew. That fight is so fun. But you see, if I hadn't killed that wizard at the beginning, he stands up there at the top of the screen, and he's casting magic at you the whole fight, and he buffs the boss's damage. So he becomes like a royal pain in the butt. So if you don't if you don't go around this area and check everything out, you can get screwed pretty freaking hard. So phew. Okay, let's go ahead and use a homeward bone. We're gonna go back. Oh boy. Okay, and we're gonna rest. And we're going to level up. Alright. Well played. Alright. What did we need to level up? Dex eventually has to get to 18. Oh, we're so close. That's awesome. That was good. Took it all the way up to 30. And we just need 32 to use the Black Knight the Black Knight weapon, which is what we really want. At least right now, though, we get to switch to the Zwei. So this weapon's pretty dang cool. It's a puppy! <laughs> like, this is apparently the weapon, like, the majority of, of first players will use. Because it's got crazy damage, and it's got ridiculous range, and it can care. Oh boy! Hey, you freaking jerk! Thank you. And it just it hits through everything. You just run and strike, and run and strike. Friggin' Braveheart, yeah, right? <laughs> this giant claymore, like it's a larger claymore than the claymore. <laughs> Okay. So, okay, I'm going to ask you, Church, and I'm going to ask you, Lynn, as well. Before we get there, this next area that I have to go to, there's two ways of going in it. I can go the easy way, or I can go the ridiculously difficult way. Which way should I go in? 
I'm gonna let you choose. I can go the easy way in there, and and easy is I know a shortcut in the in the area, or I can take the hard way, which is the normal way, which is freaking irritating out the butt. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and also, let's get your answers. Of course, Lynn. Of course, you'd ask for the difficult way. But I'm already pissed off at this game, so. I don't want to see repeat, repeat, repetitive deaths. Exactly. And that area is repetitive deaths like you don't want to believe. <laughs> but here's the thing. So you guys earlier had picked of animals. You picked animals that brought you news. One of them brought good news and one of them brought bad news. Okay. And so hopefully you picked the ones that first came to your head. You don't want to overthink these things. Okay. So. For most people, the future is greatly influenced by their selection of a mate or life partner. The animal messengers in this scenario actually correspond to your own perceptions of the kind of people likely to bring you joy and grief. Animals are rich and complex in psychological significance with a range of positive and negative attributes and associations. In this scenario, the animal you chose as the bearer of the message of happiness represents the type of person you perceive as an ideal spouse, while the doomsayer animal is the type you fear would drag you down into the depths. So I think when I did this, actually, my the person the, the animal that brought me the good news was of course a dog. And the one that brought me bad news was I think a parrot as well. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Church, you picked... I'm trying to remember. Oh, I disconnected my mouse because I didn't want it disconnecting and all that stuff. Uh, let's see here. You picked Dog for Good News and Turtle for Bad News. And Lynn, I think you also picked Dog for Good News, but you picked Parrot like me for Bad News. So, let's see. For the three of us, we picked Go to Dog. Glad Tidings unquestioning loyalty and absolute devotion are the things you seek most in your mate true or false <laughs> absolute loyalty and devotion how true is that Okay, I'll let you guys... Uh, hey, Grievous! Yeah, Dark Souls 1, buddy. Hey, Grievous! Real quick, man. Uh, you were chilling out at home. Uh, eh, probably. I find the stage 4 clingers. <laughs> you, Grievous, you're chilling at home. Oh, by the way, Grievous, Lynn, Lynn, Grievous, Church. You know Grievous already. Uh, Grievous, you're chilling at home, and you open the door, and there's two animals in front of you. And one of them has a letter from the future about good news, and one of them has a letter in the future about bad news. Uh, which one of these brought the good news, Grievous, and which one brought the bad news? Tiger, dog, sheep, parrot, or tortoise? So one of them brought good news, and one of them brought bad news. Tiger, dog, sheep, parrot, tortoise. Just the first thing that comes to your head. Sheep. Okay. Sheep brought the good news, I'm guessing. And then for the bad news? You're a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Which one brought the bad news, though? Tiger, dog, parrot, or tortoise? Tiger, dog, parrot, and tortoise. Which one of those brought the bad news? Tiger. Okay. Well, then I'm going to finish with the good ones really quick. Sheep. Grievous, you, you were the only one that picked sheep. These are actually kind of related to what you seek in a spouse or what you would seek in a mate. You see the key to contentment in a warm-hearted, nurturing individual. I wonder how true that is. You let me know. But for the negatives, uh, let's see. Lynn, both you and I 
my computer lagged and I missed like the last two minutes. It's okay. We're, we were telling Grievous about this whole thing. Uh, Lynn, me and you, we did Parrot. So Gloom and Doom. No one could suit you worse than a chattering layabout with a severe allergy to work. So a lazy person that never shuts up. For church, you picked tur Tortoise. The prospect of a lifetime spent with a frustratingly slow-moving, slow-witted partner is your worst nightmare. And for Grievous, Tiger, you dread the prospect of a vain, tyrannical partner who struts around like the Lord of the Jungle and growls at any mention of sharing the housework. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh snap! Dang sure! Very true. Oh wow! <laughs> Grievous, how true is that for you though? Kind of a, a bossy individual. Very vain too. Yeah, I'm the same way. I can I agreed with that one as well. I'm gonna walk around these dogs. Don't 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 pay any attention. Don't worry guys, you just do your thing. <laughs> I could dislike I could dislike that, yes. Okay, you could dislike it. Not necessarily the one thing you hate the most, but it's something you could dislike. Okay. I'm hearing you. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh man, I love this book. It's so much fun actually to pl oh boy. Uh, oh. oh, I got all three of them. Got them. I got all three of them. Uh, ow. Ow. That's okay. That's okay. We didn't we didn't want health anyway. Oh. What was my marriage one? Uh Grievous, you picked a sheep, so you were looking for someone you were looking contentment in a warm-hearted nurturing spouse so it's, it's saying that you kind of search for that someone warm-hearted and very nurturing um but mine was pretty pretty spot on too like loyalty and devotion like they might not be like the nicest person in the world you know like they might have a little bit of irritation at things or whatever right but to me if they're loyal to me, like they're devoted to me, and by devoted I don't mean like, you know, like, I don't know, I'm their world. What I mean is, you know, they, they're not going anywhere, you get me? Like they're sticking with me, you know, through thick and thin. That's, that's what I do search for. And I search for that with friends as well. You know, I, that's the number one thing is that I also try to give my friends is just intense loyalty and devotion. And so it's very really interesting, actually, how those components also relate to our friendships and not necessarily just our, like, our love lives. Interesting. I don't know. What do you guys think? Think about all this stuff. We've been... Uh, there we go. Oh, boy. This is going to be kind of scary. Okay, just, just making my way. <laughs> Though these hoes ain't. <laughs> these hoes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where the mods at? Where the mods at? <laughs> it makes sense. It really does. It really does. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Gosh dang man. It's something something else. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Church. Okay. The the back you know, we might actually be able to do this really quickly before church goes to bed because I know he's gotta get to bed pretty early. So I wanna make sure I think we can actually do the the kind of the final boss for the first part of um of Dark Souls right now. 
because we're taking the back way into this area. So this area is called Blight Town. It sucks. It sucks horribly. First off, it's so dark, you have no idea what's going on. Second, the graphics, it's running so many things in one area, it can just d decimate your computer. There's so many things. It's my Friday. Oh, that's right. Okay. I ain't got to go anywhere, but it's getting late. Exactly. So I want to try to hurry this up. Um, and lastly, it's, it's it runs so – it makes your computer run so hard. And look at this guy, by the way. Look at this guy. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. That's new Londo. Uh, we're going to go to that place later on in the game. Um, what was it? Uh, here we go. Just use the key. Da -da! Um, there's a lot of people in the in this area that shoot poison darts at us. And those poison darts um, can be really, really tricky to deal with. And you can get poisoned very, very quickly in this area. But lastly, they some of them shoot toxic darts and the toxic darts kill will kill us like in like 10 seconds and so we really really don't want to go through the main entrance um most people when they play dark souls after if they get through capra there's a good chance that they'll they'll finish the game there's a good chance because they they had the resilience to keep going however blight town alone can just end a run it's just like, I don't want to play this place anymore. I don't want to be here. Shut the heck up. So these guys, they guard the back entrance to Blight Town. Oh, there's the poison I didn't want. Go. Okay, we do have. Okay, we should just have SS Flask. Darn it. Um, oh gosh! <laughs> oh, oh, the follow scared me. <laughs> oh gosh! Thanks, Lynn. Oh, that scared me so bad. <laughs> chill these guys can hit really freaking hard too like really hard all right there's the there we go Just wanna... ah man that backswing man he caught me glad to have given you a small heart attack yeah lynn thanks a lot <laughs> no but thanks for the follow i really appreciate it it's very kind of you oh my gosh okay we can just get past this guy Right a button, right the button. No, 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 in the button. Okay, all right. It is kind of nice that we do this much damage. I'm not used to ever doing this much damage. Ooh, that would have hurt. Actually, if we got hit. Okay, we're almost there. Actually, because going through the back road, we skip all of this hell hole that is Blight Town. All of this, so we're gonna go sh pretty much straight to the boss. The only thing that we're gonna add is we're gonna stop by a bonfire just so that way, worst case scenario, as we're getting to the boss or at the boss, we die because uh, we don't want that to happen. Uh, this place sucks. We would have had to gone through like all of that and 10 billion times more. And the boss here actually is really cool. Her name's Quelaga, and um, and Quelaga is. Well, I don't want to ruin it. She's just a cool-looking boss. Like, a really... She's a cool-looking boss. Not as cool as Gaping. Gaping definitely is one of the coolest-looking bosses, uh, in, in, in my opinion, in gaming. It's just a great design. Oh, and also, this level um, has, like, a bunch of mosquitoes. Uh, and the mosquitoes uh, shoot blood. And they infinitely spawn. They will infinitely spawn in this area. They just keep spawning and spawning and spawning. So hot she is. Oh, yes, hot. <laughs> this is true. She is a very attractive boss. <laughs> uh, you'll see, though. <laughs> you will see. Okay, we're going to take the stairs here. All right. Uh, okay, this part can be tricky. 
um, because people people can die here oh, and also hitting these things can be freaking annoying uh, so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure wait no 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 that's not how did we get I can't remember how to get yeah we get down from here that's right okay just roll okay nice Phew! I I hate this hell hole. <laughs> All right. And then also the the entire bottom floor is covered in this bog, and we move very slowly in it. And so it's just another reason why this whole place just sucks tremendously. Big. Oh no, no! I'm not dying this way. Not after all that. <laughs> Screw you, freaking. Oh, there's the man-eater. There's Mildred. Where's she at? Mildred is over there. All right, I want to bring Mildred over towards the bonfire. Screw you. You can chill there. Bring Mildred in here. Okay, because I don't want to fight her out there because there's mosquitoes out there and a bunch of douches. All right, so where's she at? She should be coming. There she is. Okay. She's not too bad. She's actually an easier dark spirit to defeat, so she can do a bit of damage. Uh, but you can always just uh, well, as is why I can just pretty much stun lock her. Um, but you want to kill her because oh, there it is. There's... Okay, play safe. Play safe. You want to kill her because she can actually help you. Um, in the boss fight, and that's what we want. Nice. Alright, Mildred. Oh, gosh, come on. There it is. I got rid of it. That mosquito is being really rude. Okay, just bait. I just need a bait. Okay, that's fine. That'll do. All right, the backstab should hurt. Burn the entire place down. I really should. This place is a hellhole. I hate it. I hate it so much. Let's see. Three humanities and the... Ooh, I got the butcher knife off her. That's nice. Oh, a summon. Yes. Yes, I would love a summon. This place sucks, man. Grievous, I should burn this place down. Uh... 31 we will hit the 32 marker at this boss that would be nice so let's summon this person whoever they are it'll be nice to have them for the fight and then we're also gonna have Mildred for the fight so that's gonna be handy uh, the boss fight is literally up up from here like it's it's like a short little walk from here actually so and we skipped the tough part so we can just go straight to her um, approaching Quelaga can be a little tricky. Dragon scale, nice. Um, it can be a little tricky if you've never been to Blight Town. Uh, because there is, <laughs> you're gonna see right now. There's these little things that are gonna try to kill us, and like, they're just jerks. And there we go, Gyro. All right, summon this person. Um, and you gotta, you have to approach from like an angle, actually, specifically. Uh, you'll see what I mean right now. Did I summon it? Oh, come on, summon! Oh, I mean, I, I can kill Quaylaga without him, but I just, I kind of want the summon. I think he just, at that point, just turned it off for a second. There he is. Let me just bow. Hello. Thank you for joining us. <gasps> Alright, you coming? You coming? You coming? Hello. Uh, well, you know, just. I, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, feel free to join us. Ow. Oh, that hurt more than I was expecting. Oh my gosh. Would you freaking just die? I have a dung pie equipped. Uh, no, no. All right, let's just go. Let's just. Oh, she's a mage. Okay, that's gonna be nice. All right, let's just run through this. Oh, and the bog is poisonous, by the way. 
Another reason why this place is a hellhole. <laughs> hey, I just let's get through this. All right, I'm gonna run to this corner. And by run, I mean I'm gonna slowly trudge in. Great, we're poisoned. Whatever. Now that we're poisoned, we can move around just a tad. Okay, so Quelaga is in that. So what we're going to do uh, is we're gonna. Oh. If you let's see, can you see him from here? Okay, you see that guy on the. You see those guys right there on the bottom left. They do. They do a ton of freaking damage. A ton of damage. Holy crap! Nice crib. Yeah. So here's the thing. If you approach this area straight forward. It's going to be, you're going to have a really rough time. Because you've got to get through one, two, three of those guys. There's another one up here too. Um, it's just, it's not, it's not optimal to go that way. So we want to approach from the side here. Straight up. And so we skip all those guys. They're down there now. We're just going to come straight in here. Here's the domain. And this is an easy part. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, these guys... Are little hives okay they've got these weird little leeches in them okay so normally I wouldn't do this but just for right now I'm gonna do it once okay so they die with one hit but they spawn these things and if I didn't have Zweihander it would be really really freaking difficult to kill them all actually let's see is that guy coming after me is he coming after me oh no no, no I just knocked him over uh, let's see where is Mildred is this Mildred no, that's not Mildred. Is this Mildred? There's Mil Maneater Mildred. She tanks the crap out of this fight, by the way. Tanks the crap out of it. Oh, she's just the best to have. Yeah, and you can only have two summons in this game. Okay, good to remember. Okay. Gosh, it's going to suck. Ew! I know, right? Those little gross little gnats and stuff like that. Ugh, they're disgusting. But, okay, so let's go ahead and pop one humanity. Not a lot of humanity. And let's go ahead and start the fight. So this is this is cool. Um, she's a, she's really well designed. She looks great, and like Reva said, she's pretty hot. Um, a lot of people think she's really really hot. Um, well, at least you know from up here. <laughs> the flood. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of like the flood. <laughs> This is Quelaga. And that's all you see. <laughs> she spews magma. That's true. That's 100% true. So we just want <laughs> to back up a little. We're going to let Mildred kind of tank a little bit. All right. Because we're still dealing with some poison. Oh, that. Ow. Alright, so she's busy with him. I think she's turning towards me. Okay. So, she's, like I said, she's not really a hard boss. Oh, shoot. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, fam. That guy got wiped. Holy crap. I don't think he knows... How to fight Quelaga. Really want to just let Mildred do the majority of work. And let her just tank. And you pretty much just smack in the back here. There we go. Yeah, like I said, look, she's tanking the crap out of that. There we go. And... Oh, I forgot she had that. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're just going to bait, 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 bait. That's fine. Pop humanity. Come back to full health. All right, and then do 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 do. Gold pine resin. Speed this up a little bit. Oh, I forgot about it again! Dang you! Dang you, Salazar! Alright, let me heal. Alright, be smart. Smack the booty! 
Smack their booty! <laughs> Okay, okay, come on. Did she get Mildred? Okay, no, I was like, I thought she was gonna pick her up. Yep, that's fine. Okay, be wise, pop one of these real quick. Okay, no, no, it's just magma. Okay, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, KO, maybe? <laughs> oh, there it is. And that's Quaylaga. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that's the way it goes. <laughs> but poor guy. I feel really bad for the person that was helping us. I don't think they knew how to fight her. Yeah, like, you're really not supposed to be in front of Quaylog because she can do a bit of damage, actually, from where she's at. See, is this the area? No. There is a secret. I'm trying to remember where. Is it this wall? No. Okay. But Church, do you remember uh when we were we were at the beginning of the game, we fought those gargoyles and we rang the bell? Well, buddy, look what we got here. Last bell! <laughs> yes! <laughs> And so, um, Lynn, if you if you don't understand what's going on here, we're supposed to ring two bells. We rang the first bell, which was over there, and we rang the second bell now, which was down there. And now these giants hear the bells, and they pull open this door. And this is the door to an irritating place, not as bad as Blight Town. Believe me, we skipped... We skipped, like, oh my gosh, over an hour and a half worth of content. Because Blighttown just sucks, dude. Just sucks bad. Um, ooh, Homeward Bone. Um, but what's it called? Blighttown, we skipped a lot of it. But we're going to go into Sense Fortress. It's not as bad, but it's kind of bad. It's kind of... Prologue complete. Precisely, prologue complete. The last thing we want to do before we just call Dark Souls is I'm looking for one, one more door. Just trying to, I think it's, is it this one? No. Is it here? No. Here. Found it! Okay, this guy's good. He's good. He's a cool guy. Gonna, hello. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Yes. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Mm. But you have no eggs. Mm. Ha, no matter. I pray that you will... So, have fun. Hope to see you soon, Daniel. Yeah, I hope to see you too, Lynn. Thanks for stopping by. And if you would like to ever hang out again, if you just scroll down the web page I mean this page a little bit uh, my times are there actually so if you ever want to just hang out and stream or whatever um, I'm on tomorrow night for example there's the 32 and now X perfect 32 so this is Quelaga's sister and she's also a what's it called a firekeeper so she she gave up a what's it called uh she gave up her ability to talk to so that way she could uh so that way she could what's it called have a bonfire for the undead so that way they could possibly you know stop the uh stop this apocalypse that is coming so, but the cool thing is this, is that uh, we want Solaire for the last battle, and in order to get Solaire in the last battle, we actually have to have this kind of secret door open. Um, and in order to get that secret door open, we have to give her a crap ton of humanity. I can't even remember the number. I think it might be 40. Um, 
but luckily for us we have like 13 on us right now so i just want to get this done right now um and then as we're going in the game and whatnot and we're we're continuing along if we get over 10 i'm going to teleport back to this girl give her the humanity and then continue along with our way and the reason why is this is that if we don't have that secret path opened up uh something horrible happens to solaire and we don't get to keep him for the final battle and if you're new to this game you would have no freaking clue that you had to do any of this stuff it's just oh gosh it's a bunch of stuff but if you've played it a couple times you beat it a couple times you start learning about these things actually so that's pretty much it and I'm glad we hit level we hit level 32 in strength so now we're really strong and the next thing we're going to is not sense fortress next time we play I think I might play this tomorrow too um, we are going to actually go to the dark forest and we are gonna go and we're gonna fight I'm fighting we are fighting a butterfly. No joke. <laughs> no joke. We are straight up going to be fighting a butterfly tomorrow. <laughs> so it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, we'll see that. The bonfire has been lit. Uh, what is this? Dead end ahead. Oh, okay. It's a dead end. <laughs> and now we just need to make our way back out of Blight Town. And I think I'm just going to finish the run on that today. I'm just going to get out of Blight Town. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of Blight Town, get the get the heck out of Dodge, and and uh, and then be done with this place. So that's it. So we're gonna finish it after this. So, but this is where you don't want to risk it. You don't want to rush this part because you you can get stuck in Blight Town for a good while if you get aggressive. You get too aggressive. It's beautiful. What's beautiful, buddy? <laughs> Uh, let's see. The one thing I wish is that, like, I know it sounds silly. I mean, you can't have it. Don't get me wrong, but it'd be so cool if we had, like, I don't know, like a horse or something like that, or some moth. Yeah. Oh, the moonlight butterfly. Yeah, she really is something special. I I love her. She's one of my favorite uh favorite enemies in this game. Oh, and so like they're praying and they're hoping. I think they're praying to Quelaga. I would think. But they're undead, and those little larvas have connected to their backs, so crazy stuff. All right, so let's get the heck out of this place. We're going to come over here, run down the left side. Uh, oh, oh, the Great Club is there, I think. Oh, that's right, and that's a really good weapon. Okay, where... Uh, um, I'm pretty dang sure it's over here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know, I really, really, really feel like it's here. Why do I remember that? I skipped those guys. Jeez Louise, those guys suck. That it? Yeah, I think that's it right there. Okay, let's... Uh... Ow! Oh, it's two of them. All right, screw this crap. That's it right there. I got it. Okay, we're gonna go bye. I was like, I'm pretty sure I remember this. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ooh, items. Ow. That's okay. Goodbye. Is he still there? Okay, no. Well, I'm already poisoned, so who cares? Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get on over there, buddy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No more items there. No more items. No more items. The Great Club is pretty much the one thing I wanted to pick up here, cause it's kind of like the Zweihander. Um, I think it actually goes up in damage a bit more than the Zweihander, to be honest. 
Uh, do I want to keep going this way? I don't need to keep going this way. So what I want to do is where's the wheel? Skip that. Uh, there is... Where is the shrine? Should be right over here. There it is. Okay. There's one last thing I want to pick up while we're here. Go. I want to pick up the uh, the Firelink Soul. Go. Get out of the poison. Head up this way. Do 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 do. All right. And we're gonna want to roll here. Actually, I can just step off. There we go. I can't tell you the amount of times I second guessed myself there, and I just fell <laughs> like straight off of this dumb thing. Whew! There we go. And I have rolled off of that as well. <laughs> All right, just slow and steady. We do not need to run here. I don't want to tr even try to run. Oh, no, 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 that's it right there. That's it right there. Okay, we want to come this way. Okay, so we're going to take a crap ton of damage here, probably. Uh, can I get this guy? Yeah. Not from this. Uh, from, from this next area, we might take a, oh boy. Oh. Those were the darts I was talking about, by the way. Oh, I think I went a little bit too far. Darn it. Oh, wow. Oh, the Crimson Roads. Okay, that's cool. Oh. Alright, well that's interesting. Um yeah, it's in there. Great. That's wonderful. Freaking awesome. That's where I have to go. To that hellhole. Right over there. Ow. Not what I need right now. Okay, okay. You can do this. I wanna kind of go around that. Uh, take this way, Hender. Okay, where am I at? Okay, I need to get back over there to the left. Drop here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, okay. Alright, where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, let's just drop here. That's fine. Oh, no, 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 son of a, oh, gosh, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, it was bound to happen, we, how, how dare I ever think we were gonna have a perfectly clean <laughs> blight town, just one, that's okay, yeah, I was bound to get one, just at least one, there we go, okay, let's just head up, and the, I really want to get this because it's really going to pay dividends in the rest of the run if I get this. And it really isn't that bad. Like, it can be a little tricky to get to, don't get me wrong, but I can do it. Even if I die while trying to get it, it's worth the... Well, okay, it was. it would be worth the death the, or the suicide. I just need to grab the item. Okay, head up the ladder. Ow. Oh, good. Okay. Alright, and now come around. Oh, mosquitoes.
Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. How do I? Those dogs can hurt. A bit. Just need to kind of skip them a little. Ow! That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Just gotta get the item. No, no, no! Well, that actually worked out a little bit better than I was expecting. What do you know? <laughs> okay, where the heck is this? Okay, let's kill this guy really quickly because this guy's gonna. All right, there's the toxic. So there goes my life pretty quickly. All right, it's on that side. All right, that's okay, because now that we've got toxic, we can just not freak out about it. Right there, it is. Just what we wanted. Okay, got it. Perfect. All right, ditch that guy. Whatever. Shoot. How do I? How how do I get down? Oh no. I oh I died, oh I died for the toxic. Oh okay, that's fine. We got we got what we wanted them. That's awesome. Perfect. Now we can leave in peace. Leave this godforsaken place, or excuse me, gosh forsaken place. I don't like saying that. And go to the rest of the game, which is much better. <laughs> there is a really cool ninja outfit in this in this level, but nah. No vale la pena. Let's leave now. We're done. Got through this area. Do 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 do. There we go. All right. Ah, oh, beep jerky. Perfect. You know what I noticed that I I didn't realize I don't think it's ever happened in one of my in one of my runs? When I was fighting Gaping Dragon, the camera turned like that. I don't remember the camera ever doing that. That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh stars above. Wonder. I'm so confused about that. Excuse me, sir. You're gonna have to keep your voice down. Right and there. Hard part's over. Is that stupid little wheel? Oh, treasure chest. Need them. Thank you. I'll take that. Key to the new Londo ruins. Oh! What do you know? I'm glad we didn't miss that. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Here's our chubby. Chubby cheeks. Okay. Freedom! Oh, we're free. We're free. Last but not least, there it is. We're going to take a very quick adventure over to fight this dead dragon. <laughs> He's right there. That will be the end of it.
He's got, I can't remember, he's got a cool weapon, a Stora's Greatsword, I remember. Woo! Hi, buddy. Ow. Yeah, forgot, this guy just let him. Ugh. All right, just gonna pop that bad boy in there. Um, guess let him do that. What the? Oh, it poisons. Okay. Baby poison. I know what's up in Wait, that's not what I wanted. I will come back to you when I do lots of damage. Excuse me. Oh, crap. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, this leads me to the Valley of the Drakes. And we don't need that. So we're just going to head back this way. And let's see. We'll just pass this guy and we're going to head back right back to the bonfire. Excuse me. Ow. Sorry. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Okay. You do you. I love you. Cross the bridge. Oh, this bridge always scares me. Oh my gosh. Okay, head on this way. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and fuck this little thingy here. Okay. I don't remember where that goes. Or whatever. I'll check it later. And let's head back down. Hey, it's new Londo. Hi, guys. We will come back there much later. <laughs> Well, is it much later? Not really much later. Soon. We just have to get through Sense Fortress and this humongous section called An Orlando. <laughs> do 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 do. Alright. Down up over here. Give this lady. The Firekeeper Soul that we got. Now our SS Flask is reinforced by two. So now we're definitely healing a lot from it. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Phew. That was good. Alright, so what did we do today? We did the Depths and we did Blight Town. So, not bad. Not bad. And then tomorrow we'll do all of Dark Forest, and um, we won't do all of it. We'll just do uh, we'll do Butterfly, and we will do um, we'll do Butterfly tomorrow. And I don't know if I want to do Sift tomorrow. I probably won't do Sift tomorrow. If we do Butterfly and we get through it pretty quickly. Um, who knows? I might I might do Sif. Um, I want to get to Dex 18 by tomorrow. And if I can get to Dex 18 by tomorrow, we have a really good weapon. And we'll head into Sense Fortress. And that's where the game will really, will really, really pick up. Because crap goes hard at Sense Fortress. Basically, when you hit Sense Fortress, the game just goes in difficulty. Um... We have a fine weapon, though. Like, Zweihander is fine. It's working well. Um, and by the time we walk in there, we'll have the uh, the Black Knight's uh, halberd. And so we'll be fine. Uh, and so, yeah, we should have a, a really good time tomorrow, actually. I'm so glad that the, the days of the Claymore are over. Oh, my gosh. I'm so freaking happy that's done. Oh, that pissed me off so much using that dumb weapon. Hated that thing. I'm glad it's over. But yeah, this was good. This was a good, good one today.
Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything else I want to do today. No, it's a good run. Good, 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 good run. Mm. I want. How much do I need for the great club? This thing's awesome. Uh, 28. So wait, it's 135. How much am I doing right now with Zweihander? Let's see. If I go to Zwei, 130 plus 56. And then this thing, wait, can I use this? No, I need 50 for it. Jeez, that's gonna be, it's gonna take us a while to get to that one. Ooh, this does more. <laughs> Brr. Digger. <laughs> oh, I forgot it does that. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I know he said we're gonna be done. I'm just gonna kill a skeleton or two. I just wanna see what happens. Oh, this guy woke up. I forgot. Hey, buddy. I know you wanna say hi and everything. This guy's cool. He's a nice guy, actually. He's good. Uh, we'll need him for later. He's just gonna basically tell me right now that I have to do some things in order to, you know, whatever. Uh, fulfill the prophecy. All right. Like these guys up. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I've never used this weapon in a run. Oh, and I love it. And it's a vertical. That's what I'm so happy about. It's a vertical attack. Oh my gosh. Man, and it kicks the crap out of these guys. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Okay, where's the big one? The big one's over here. Where's he at? Where are you at? You're over here. I'm gonna get attacked now. Okay, you're over here. Oh my gosh, I just want to do this real quickly. There we go. Stand on up. Oh, <laughs> oh the power! The power! <laughs> oh, who knows? I might not even want to get the Black Knight Halibirds ready to go. I might just want to stick with this. Ow. Ow. Oh, that's fine. That was awesome. Oh, I loved it. Oh, that was the best. Oh, the power. The power. <laughs> I was gonna. I don't care. I knew. I knew, figured I was gonna die. I just wanted. To, I wanted to fill this out. Let me just go get my souls. Oh my gosh. Jeez. And this thing hits so much faster than this Y. And it makes me feel good because I run Uji all the time. And so Uji Katana is all vertical strikes. So now I'm back in my element here. Gosh. And you see this thing hits, I mean, it strikes so much faster than the other weapons. Jeez, man. This is the best. I'm really happy with this right now. Alright, let me just get this guy up real quick. Alright, there right, you go. There you go. Sit your butt back down. Uh, one more. Alright, and... There are my souls. Thank you. Alright, pull it back for a second. All right, wait, wait, wait. Hmm? Oh. And in reality, we really just have to buff it like one time or just buff strength up a little bit more and we would totally be one-shotting all these things. All right, let's just get this item and we'll call it. How did these people die? I think they probably fell. They're just binoculars. Gosh dang it. I forgot. They're just stupid binoculars. 
<laughs> oh man, whatever. All right, I'm so happy right now, man. All right, skip you guys, whatever. This is it. we're gonna be using this bad boy, man. I'm so glad we pit made a pit stop and we picked it up on the way out. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call it here. Let's go ahead and save. We'll call it, and uh, tomorrow we'll we'll continue this. It's nice. It's nice to be back in Dark Souls. There we go. Hmm. Just. Um. Hey, Church, do you think you would like well, it, so you made it out. if this character yeah, started throwing I'll, I'll fireballs like everywhere? Too. I have my pyromancy. Oh, yeah. By the way, I think you have a knack. I'll be pleased. Ah, oh, and. Oh really? But I'm on. I need... No, 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 no! I don't. I, I don't find magic unsavory. Oh, hello there. I'm please. Oh, and I'll be. Oh really? But no. I'm on. I need... No, no, gosh dang! I want the. Oh gosh. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased. To... Oh, and uh, I'll be pleased to assist you. By... Yeah, wonderful. I'm I'll sure see that... you, Grievous. Yeah, they'll be of some use. Some here. A flame from the. Why? Well, let's get started. Buff you, buff you, buff it. All right, and then we'll start doing those spells tomorrow. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. All right. <sighs> Great run tonight. I was very happy with it. Real good fun. We are calling it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Church, thank you so much, dude, for always being here. You mean... A lot to me, buddy. You're the best. Um, sleep well, bro. All right, sleep well, and and I will see you probably tomorrow night, man. So you you be safe, buddy. Good night.